What is up friends? Welcome back to another highly anticipated, extremely procrastinated 2019 Chicago apartment tour YouTube video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nick. I am a full-time food photographer, content creator, filmmaker, whatever you want to call it these days. I just wanted to take some time to show you guys the ins and the outs of our apartment where I spend the majority of my time working, where Banks kicks it, where Kels and I chill in the evenings and watch our crazy weird murder mystery shows, and just an overall vibe of our apartment. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna start at the beginning. So this is the front door here. This is exactly where you come in. On this side, we just have this utility closet here. It keeps all of our sports stuff and anything, honestly, we just wanna stash away in there. It's just a great catch-all, you know? Over on this side is just like another little storage closet here. Holds some of our like kitchen appliances that we don't always use all the time. And so then you get into the first two rooms. One is a bathroom. This is our guest bathroom here. It's not, not big, but it's got a full stand-up shower, a turlet, and that's really all you need. Then we get into the space where I spend the majority of my time working, and this is the studio. I just have this light set up. It's not really doing anything right now, but it's just like set up for some ambient light in here. I have my flash right here in the corner and this is the surface where I do all of my food photos on right here and I have all these tiles and surfaces and everything that I can interchange out to shoot on. I have my Mac over here where I do the majority of my editing and then over here I just have a stand-up freezer, some additional products, a microwave if I need it, a meat slicer, just some like additional stuff. But that's it, that's basically the studio. You're looking at it right now. It's not huge, but it gets the job done. I love it in here. I love the tall ceiling, so you can really go up high if need to and like really set up the lights. But yeah, this is it. This is where I spend the majority of my time. This is where the magic happens. This is where Fork and Pancakes does his thing. All right, so now we travel down the hallway. Sorry, this camera. I'm shooting on a 60 Mark II right now. My arms are not conditioned for this at all. I need to get in the weigh room. Okay, so we come down the hallway here. We hit the kitchen. So we have the basic gas stove and oven. I really like gas. I love it a lot better than electric. Over here we have our little like breakfast station. That's just what I call it, just a coffee maker or toaster. Over here are our power appliances, like the KitchenAid and the Calphalon blend. I forgot what it was called there for a second, but it's the Calphalon blender. Got it on sale at Target. I freaking love it. A lot of our produce lives like over here and on top of the fridge sometimes. But we got all the stuff, you know? We got the necessities. Let's have a look in the fridge though, right now. Gotta have the cage free brown eggs. My mother's delicious salsa. Sauerkraut's a must. Big old ham right here. Slice that sucker up and make sandwiches with it. The booch. Vitamin D milk, if you're not drinking vitamin D, you are completely robbing yourself of everything awesome about cows. Got an Oktoberfest beer in here because it's kind of getting closer to fall and I really hope the weather starts cooling down a little bit. Got our produce down in the section there, but we try to keep everything as clean as possible when we're making stuff, the ingredients down to a minimum. I would say the most important thing in this refrigerator is my homemade ranch. If you haven't had any yet, you need to pop over and watch my other video on how I made this delicious stuff. It tastes nothing like Hidden Valley. That's only because it's 2,500 times better. For dinner tonight, all right, Panks. Oh, this is Panks. Hi, bud. How's it going? Wanna say hi to the people? Huh? Oh, you just wanna say hi to the camera, right? All right, so that wraps up the kitchen. Not entirely sure what the heck this guy is for. It's kind of just like our utility table, just like set stuff there when we don't need it. Holds the speaker, which I love and can't live without music while I'm working. Um, so after the kitchen, we get into the living area. This is where we spend a great deal of time together. We got this big old, huge, freaking $1,500, 90,000 square foot couch. Thing is comfy, man, I'm telling you. Put golf on the TV like on a Sunday afternoon after you've been drinking the night before, boom, out. You're out for a good three and a half hours. That thing sucks you in. So we got everything we need in this living space and Kel spends a lot of her time here studying. This is like her comfort area. That's where she likes to study and does best. So we'll do the balcony last, but we're going into the master bedroom right now. Super important to have a large bed. We have a California King. Both of us are tall. I'm 6'2 and she's like 5'11 and Banks is like 2'3". 
but he totally sleeps with us. He sleeps more towards the head of the bed. I got my bike over there mainly because I dream about it at night, I dream about bike rides all the time. Honestly, I just haven't thought about it really good place to put it so it just stays right there got some succulents on the tables we got nice big windows that let in a lot of natural light the only bad thing about that is in the mornings is like the sun since we face the east the sun just like rises and blasts you right in the face and in the summer times you're waking up at 4 35 o'clock but that's it that's our bedroom it's not a lot but it works for us awesome for sleeping i love this bed and this mattress it's amazing all right so now we go into the master closet So we'd walk through the master closet and now we're entering the master bathroom. So you can see here we have two, a double vanity, and then the toilet, a full-size bath with shower head. It's perfect. It's uh, everything we need and want in a bathroom. All right, so from here we're gonna head out back through the living space area and onto the balcony. Come on, watch your butt. All right, so here we are in a balcony. It's not huge, but it does the trick. And we live right above Ashland right here. And we have a gorgeous view of the skyline looking out. So it's nice to sit out here uh, in the evenings. Just like I said before, like the sun comes in from the east and it just like beats on our windows. And it's just far, far too bright and hot sometimes in the mornings. But we love it out here on the balcony. It makes for um, really cool for like entertaining and parties and then just like ultimately chilling. We've got some plants we need to shape up, but I didn't survive the Chicago summer, so they're out. And that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I showed you our apartment, I showed you the balcony, I showed you our whips, the rock wall, the swimming pool, the diving well, all of it, the four wheelers. Now it's time for you to get the heck out of here. Isn't that what they say in MTV Cribs? I'm just kidding, don't leave. I'm gonna be making homemade pizza here pretty soon and I want you to stick around. It's really freaking good. Stay tuned, be on the lookout for the next video. It's a very special one and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. See you next time, peace.